Okay, everybody. I'm excited to show you guys this portable solar panel from All Powers. This is their new 600 watt version. Now I'd kind of consider this a solar blanket just because it's so large, but this is the largest or the highest wattage portable solar panel I've tested on the channel. It only comes in at 27 pounds, so it is fairly lightweight. And it's best to kind of lay this thing flat on the ground, but because it's in the winter months, I'm gonna to try to find a place to hang this thing up. So let's go ahead and hang this up and then we'll do some testing. Now, just to give you guys a breakdown of the current solar conditions, it's around 30 degrees in the middle of the winter. So the sun is pretty low in the sky. Uh, just a little bit of high clouds, not much haze at all. Now testing this 1000 watt array right here, I was measuring around 930 watts. So pretty decent solar conditions. So let's go ahead and see what we can get on the 600 watt panel. Now thinking about hanging this up, I've got this ratchet strap tied along the top of my carport and it does include these carabiners, which I've attached there. So let's see if we can hang the solar panel up on this ratchet strap. Okay, so not the easiest thing to do, but I do have it hung up using the included carabiners on this ratchet strap. So it is vertical, which with the sun so low in the sky, we should get some decent numbers on this. Let's go ahead and connect it up to a power station and see what we get. So the solar panel does come with MC4 connections and also an included MC4 extension cable. So I have some test equipment here. Let's go ahead and see what the open circuit voltage is. So with the solar panel not connected up to anything, we are getting 53.2 volts open circuit. So I just connected this up to the new AC200L. We are seeing 474 to 473 watts. Now measuring the inline voltage with the solar panel under load, we're getting 42.8 volts. Now using my clamp meter, we're seeing around 11 amps going through these wires. Now doing some quick math, 42.8 times 11 gives us right around 470 watts, which is what the Blue Eddy screen is showing, so pretty accurate. Now I thought it'd be helpful to compare the actual numbers that I measured today versus the rated numbers on the panel. So the rated VOC is 52.8 volts, and under our cold temperatures today, I measured a little bit higher at 53.2 volts, and that's normal. The voltage under max power is rated for 44 volts, and we measured 42.8 volts, and the current under max power is rated at 13.6 amps, and we measured 11 amps. So due to the current conditions, we saw a little bit less voltage in amps than what was actually rated. Now with a panel this large, it's important to know how it's wired together. So I'm curious if it's in a series parallel configuration. So let's go ahead and do some partial shading testing to see what type of power we get if we shade the top half versus the bottom half. So I've taken this camping chair and I have the shadow covering two of the panels on the bottom. So let's see how much the wattage has been affected. So with the partial shading, we're seeing around half the power at 239 watts. Remember before we were seeing a little bit over 470. So the inline voltage when it's partially shaded is right around 45.9 volts. I also wanted to test the amperage for partial shading. So we're seeing around five and a half amps. So I want to do a couple more tests moving the shade around. So I have this ladder and chair partially shading the two far right panels to see what we can get. So checking in on the power station, with the two far right panels shaded, we're getting 335 watts. So I've moved the ladder and the chair to shade the two middle sections of the solar panel. So let's see how many watts we're getting with this setup. So with the two middle panels shaded, we're still getting 338 watts. Now for the final partial shading test, I've taken the first and second panels on the top and bottom and I've covered up the line. So it's actually getting partial shade on four of the panels. So let's see what type of power we're getting now. So even with four of the panels partially shaded, we're still getting 241 watts. So this is pretty decent partial shading performance for this solar blanket. So now that we've tested the panel, let's go ahead and break down some of the specifications. So I moved that other panel out of the way so you guys can kind of see what this looks like without any distractions. So this is the 600 watt panel. Remember we got around 470 watts, a little bit higher. So we saw around 80% of the advertised output, which is pretty decent on a budget panel like this. Now it does have six 100 watt panels that are wired together. Um, these use monocrystalline solar cells. So we saw pretty decent output. Now this also uses an upgraded cell design with 10 bus bars and half cut cells. Um, this uses a PET coating. So um, PET uh, works pretty decently. Um, it does scratch a little bit easier than ETFE and it does break down a little bit faster than ETFE. Now what about partial shading? Well, we partially shaded this quite a bit and we never lost complete power output. So pretty decent results there. The lowest power that we saw was like 230 watts or something. So really good partial shading on this. Now, if you're gonna be using this in the winter, you're gonna wanna hang it up like this. 
Um, there are no kickstands on this, so you either have to hang it up or lay it flat on the ground. In the summer, you're going to want to lay it flat on the ground because the sun is just much more vertical, so it shines directly onto the solar panel. Uh, in the winter, the sun's coming in at an angle like this, so that's why I hung this up and we got decent power from it. Uh, overall, the price on this is really good. The MSRP for this is $8.99. It's currently on sale on Amazon and All Power's website for $6.99, but there is an $80 coupon valid for this on Amazon. So the best price is currently on Amazon. Uh, brings it down to $620 or just a little bit above $1 per watt. So you guys will have to let me know what you guys think about this, like the actual build quality, the power output, um, the size. Now talking about the actual size, when it's folded up, I'll include the dimensions for that. So it gets really compact. And like I said, it only weighs 27 pounds. So it is fairly lightweight and easy to move around. And I'll include the dimensions for the full uh, unfolded size of it as well. Now All Powers does rate this at an IP67 waterproof rating, meaning that it can get in the rain and be just fine. You just don't want to submerge it deep into the water. So uh, overall, very decent performance. Now you have to think about the price of the other big brand names that put out 400 watt panels. They're around $800 to $1,000. And this one being a 600 watt panel, is only $620, at least the current pricing right now. So let me know what you guys think about the All Power 600 watt panel. If you like the video and all the testing for this solar panel, please smash the thumbs up button. I'll recommend a few other videos that you should check out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.